Hi, boys and girls. It's Mrs. McCallie. Here's another book for us. Today, we're going to read Amelia Bedelia and the Baby by Peggy Parrish. All the books were donated by Book Smiles, New Jersey. But Mrs. Rogers, said Amelia Bedelia, I don't know a thing about babies. How can I babysit? Why, Amelia Bedelia, said Mrs. Rogers, you're very good with children. Yes, said Amelia Bedelia, I do get along fine with children. Babies are children too, said Mrs. Rogers. If you say so, said Amelia Bedelia. Now you run along, said Mrs. Rogers. Mrs. Lane is waiting. So Amelia Bedelia ran to Mrs. Lane's house. She knocked on the door. Do come in, said Mrs. Lane. I'm already late. Here's your list. I hope you don't forget anything, but you will know what to do. I will, said Amelia Bedelia. I gave Missy her lunch, said Mrs. Lane. She's in her playpen, and Mrs. Lane left. How about that, said Amelia Bedelia? Babies are kept in pens? Amelia Bedelia found Missy. Hi, Missy, she said. And Missy looked at Amelia Bedelia, and she began to cry. Oh, no, said Amelia Bedelia. What should I do? What does my list say? Amelia Bedelia read, Give Missy a bottle. She hurried to the kitchen. Then she stopped. That can't be right, said Amelia Bedelia. Babies shouldn't have bottles. They could break. She thought for a bit. I know, she said. I'll give her a can or maybe a box. Missy howled louder. I'll give her both, said Amelia Bedelia, and she did. Missy picked up the can. She threw it, and she picked up the box, and she threw that too, and she was howling. All right, said Amelia Bedelia. I'll find something. She gave Missy one thing after another, but Missy just howled louder. Maybe you're hungry, said Amelia Bedelia. I'll get you a cookie. She ran to the kitchen, then back to the open door. Anyone home, called Mrs. Carter. I'm here, said Amelia Bedelia. Here are some strawberries, said Mrs. Carter. I hear Missy. Why is she crying? Beats me, said Amelia Bedelia. I'm at my wit's end. Have you given her a bottle, said Mrs. Carter. A bottle, said Amelia Bedelia. I have not. I think that's what she wants, said Mrs. Carter. I will fix one for her. You put the strawberries in something else. I need a basket. All right, said Amelia Bedelia. Soon Mrs. Carter said, the bottle's ready. Good, said Amelia Bedelia. Here's your basket. And Mrs. Carter left. Amelia Bedelia looked at the bottle. Always something new, she said. This bottle won't break. It's just fine for babies. She gave the bottle to Missy, and Missy stopped crying. I'm glad to know about bottles, said Amelia Bedelia. They sure do shush babies. Missy finished her bottle. Amelia Bedelia looked at her list. Good, she said. You get a bath now. I know. I, I don't know anything about that, Amelia Bedelia said, but she got everything ready. And she put Missy in the bathtub. Soon Missy was all clean. That's done, said Amelia Bedelia. Back in your pen you go. Amelia Bedelia got the list and she read, Be sure to use baby powder. Then she found the powder. And Amelia Bedelia used it. Mmm, I smell good, she said. That was so nice of Mrs. Lane. Now what does she want me to do? And she looked again at her list. From two until three, it's nap time, said Amelia Bedelia. She shook her head. No, said Amelia Bedelia, I don't want to. I don't want to take a nap. I hate naps. Amelia Bedelia thought for a bit. Then she said, I know, those strawberries. I will make a surprise. I do make good strawberry tarts. She started for the kitchen. First, she said, I'll see what Missy's doing. And she went to the playpen. How about that? Missy's, Missy likes naps, said Amelia Bedelia. She can take a nap for me. I've got better things to do. She went to the kitchen and she put some of this and some of that in a mixing bowl. She mixed and she mixed and she mixed. Soon her tarts were made. Those do look pretty, she said. She put the tarts away. Missy began to cry. Missy's awake, said Amelia Bedelia. Let me see what I should do. It says give her a mashed banana. She said that would be easy. She got the banana and she mushed it. This is fun, said Amelia Bedelia, but I better give it to Missy. 
Missy took the banana, she looked at it, and she mashed it. She mashed it harder, and she mashed it harder, and suddenly the skin popped and the banana squished all over Missy. Missy clapped her hands and she ate the squishy banana, and Amelia Bedelia laughed. I never saw anything like this before, she said, but she had fun, and it was her banana. Then Missy began to fuss. I can't forget the list for now, said Amelia Bedelia. I know what you need. You need another bath. So Missy got another bath. Babies do need a lot of washing, said Amelia Bedelia. She dressed Missy. Now back to the list, she said. She put Missy in her stroller and she, and she read. Amelia Bedelia did that and then she read. But first put a sweater on her and Amelia Bedelia took Missy out of the stroller. Your mama should have said that first, said Amelia Bedelia. She put the sweater on Missy. Back you go, she said. She looked at the list again. Tarnation, she said. Your mama can't make up her mind. Now she says to take you out for a while. Amelia Bedelia took Missy out of the shoulder, in and out, in and out, and she played until she was tired. Amelia Bedelia put Missy in her playpen. She looked at the list. You must be out for good, she said. It says playtime until five o'clock. Now that's a treat. I don't mind getting to play. Amelia Bedelia looked around. Now what shall I play, she said. She saw Missy's toy box. Look at all these toys, she said. Amelia Bedelia sat down. She began to play. And she played first with one toy. Then she played with another. Oh, what fun, she said. I wish I had toys like these. Missy began to fuss. Amelia Bedelia looked at her watch. Shoot, she said. It's five o'clock. Playtime's over. And she put all the toys back in the box. Then she looked at the list. It's time for supper, she said. The list says I should give you some baby food. Amelia Bedelia picked up Missy. They went into the kitchen, and Amelia Bedelia put Missy in her chair. She took off Missy's sweater, and then she read this from the list. Don't forget to put on Missy's bib. Amelia Bedelia found the bib. That's, that's so cute, she said. Now, she said, I'll make you supper. Amelia Bedelia scurried around and she made baby hamburgers. She cooked baby potatoes and she sliced baby carrots. That's a good supper, said Amelia Bedelia. She started to give it to Missy. Oh, no, she said. The ketchup. She poured ketchup on everything. Children do love ketchup, said Amelia Bedelia. She gave Missy her supper and Missy tasted it. And she smiled and Missy ate her all of her supper. Amelia Bedelia laughed. You really like that, she said. You will like this too. And Amelia Bedelia got a strawberry tart. Here you go. Missy grabbed the tart and she ate all of that too. You are a mess, said Amelia Bedelia. You need washing again. Mr. and Mrs. Lane came home. My baby, said Mrs. Lane. What did you do to her? Why is there red stuff all over her? Red stuff, said Amelia Bedelia. Oh, some of it's ketchup, she said. The rest is strawberries. Ketchup, strawberries, said Mrs. Lane. She can't eat things like that. Oh, yes, she can, said Amelia Bedelia, and she loved them. Why did I leave Misty with you, said Mrs. Lane? You don't know a thing about babies. Mrs. Lane ate a strawberry tart. Delicious, she said. Don't you ever, ever give her that again, but... That was far. That was as far as she got. Her mouth was full of strawberries. These are my favorite, she said. Missy began to cry. Mrs. Lane went to her, but Missy wanted Amelia Bedelia. She never did that before, said Mrs. Lane. Amelia Bedelia must know something we don't. I think she knows a lot, said Mrs. Lane. I'm sorry I got angry with you. Will you come babysit again? I would love to, said Amelia Bedelia, but I have to go now. Amelia Bedelia walked home. I declare, she said, that was so much fun. Babies are real people, and I get along just fine with them. The end.